What's up, y'all? Boys, they'll take you with another YouTube video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because I'm getting my first Nintendo Switch. Not the Switch OLED, the regular Switch. Okay, so my thoughts on. I'm going to talk about all the Switches compared to the OLED and stuff like that. I am going to be, when y'all see this video, it will be uploaded tonight. And y'all probably see it tomorrow. Okay. So, I will be getting my Switch on Tuesday afternoon. Yep. Tuesday afternoon. So, I will be buying the Nintendo Switch from GameStop stuff like that so yeah um the switch like it's lighter than the nintendo switch and the oled um if that's only if you like hell hell handheld and stuff like that i recommend you get that if you want to have it in tv mode and stuff like that just buy the Nintendo Switch because the OLED can use the TV mode, hell hell mode, and play mode. Which means you can play it like a PlayStation or Xbox. The now what's the reason of coming out with the Nintendo Switch OLED if it basically was the same as the Nintendo Switch. It's just a bigger screen. That's all. Just a bigger screen. More audio to it. Got a bigger kit stand. That's about it. They didn't just charge like three hundred fifty dollars for it. Like, come on, like it's not that big of a deal. You could have came out with a Nintendo Switch, but make it look a little different. Just like they came out with the PS Five last year and the Xbox Series X. Like those are different than the PS Four and the Xbox One. Like, you could have made it something like that. Not like the system, but like, bigger. Make it different. I understand that, but. Yeah, the Nintendo Switch Lite came out 2019. It's a handheld, handheld version. The um, Nintendo Switch came out 2017. And the Nintendo Switch OLED came out this year actually came out this month a couple weeks ago so and another thing target are going to be selling more ps5s starting next week they said on twitter we are restocking ps5s in target next week it's posted like a couple hours ago so yeah if you want your ps5 better get it at Target next week, okay? Walmart, some of them have them, some of them don't. Don't let the employees lie to you because I heard a little bad story that the employees is hiding some of the PS5s from customers, saying they only want to sell it to people who they want to sell it to, stuff like that, and the, the employees are selling it to other employees. I can't buy them, so you, your company policy said you can't buy them. Why do you want to buy them? Just go somewhere else and buy them. Go to Target or go to Best Buy or something like that. They have them. In my opinion, is I'm gonna wait till probably Black Friday to see if they actually have some more in stock or around Christmas time to actually buy me a PS5 or Xbox Series S. Mm, yeah, that's the only time I'm going to try to get one. Because some of them are still ranging from $800 to $1,000 still. But it just came out last year. house is still almost $1,000. Like, come on, y'all. Like, that's a rip-off. Like, let's just say the PS4 came out a couple years ago. And it still won, like, seven, eight hundred four. That's a rip off. Like you can't do that. It just came out a couple of years ago. But I know they're not gonna do that because it came out a couple of years ago. So yeah y'all. Yeah, so try your best to get the PS five and the Xbox Series X and S. 
because everybody's trying to get those quick. It goes like like that. So try to get it as best as y'all can. But yeah, that's my thoughts about talking about the PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and the Nintendo Switch and the Nintendo Switch OLED. So I'll see y'all on Tuesday with an unboxing of the Nintendo Switch. Peace.